All right, Homesteader family, welcome to this edition of the Sunday Monday Vlog. Of course, I lay down with one dog and everybody wants attention. So this is Miss Mia Mouse right here. You can see she has gotten pretty big. She is growing like a weed. And so is little monster dog, Chloe. That's what the people named her. I'm going to run back and grab her so everybody can see her. She's big. She's getting big. Say hi to everybody. Wave. Say I'm a big old Chloe. She's a big old monster. And she runs around. She likes to play. And uh, she's just crazy, crazy dog. Nipping, nipping, nipping. Being a cute little puppy. But anyhow, this week I haven't got a lot done. As everybody knows, the previous week I was busy picking up all the new animals I got Cleopatra the camel on a hike which you guys will see that coming up I'll put up a little piece of it and uh, she did good we went for a two mile hike she's never been out on hikes or anything like that let alone harness since she was a baby and I found out a little bit more about Cleo She's seven years old, but she's she's uh, called a tully. She is a mix between a two hump and a one hump camel. And her last baby she had was a two hump camel. So who knows if she is pregnant, she might have a uh, two hump baby or a one hump baby. And very rarely they have two babies. So we'll see what happens. And you can see the puppy is in good shape. She's active. She loves to get into mischief. And uh, I thought she was peeing for a second when she squatted. Her leg just went on the other side of the rolled wire. But uh, it, it's been a busy week. Trying to get done and caught up from the animals. And then for those of you that follow social media, now I know how people feel when I say I'm an alien. They think I'm a crazy loon. But aliens do exist. I'm an alien. So that is what it is. But the reason I say that is because when I picked up Cleopatra the camel, this girl runs up to me and goes, Oh, can I see your camel? And uh, she tells me she is a witch. Well, I guess Halloween is around the corner, so people are getting their costumes out early. But, she's into numbers and spiritual things and all that type of stuff. So, uh, Alan, um, the guy's son that I got the camel from, told me, Camels will bring ladies. Well, sure enough, it brought a lady. She loved the camel. Then she found me on Facebook. She wanted to come see the ranch, rest the other animals, fell in love with all the animals, except Max don't want to be nice. But she's only tried once with Max. And uh, we've spent the last five days together. Uh, yesterday, er, she cooked uh, Mexican food. She's Her and her son's a big Mexican food eater. I don't eat Mexican food. So she cooked Mexican food Saturday for me. And I tried Mexican for the first time, minus regular tacos and stuff. And uh, then yesterday, we did a family dinner, the three of us. And I cooked seafood, did snow crab legs and shrimp, corn on the cob, French bread. And uh, they haven't had that in a long time. So they enjoyed it. And then tonight, for the first time in a long, long time, I'm going outside my comfort zone. And I'm going to a concert up in Denver with them so I've got to be out of here in like an hour and a half so I'm gonna get a little bit of this video uh, finished get everything put together hopefully get everything edited within the hour and a half so I can get you guys a video today because I like I said I got leave here at 1 or yeah 1 o'clock and it's like 1130 right now so uh, just gonna finish doing the video 
and this is another short Sunday Monday vlog but we haven't really done much except hung out with the animals and uh, I've been down in Canyon a lot hanging out with her and her son and uh, that's pretty much it so I hope everybody has a great week uh, I'm hoping to get a bunch of stuff done this week I'm supposed to sign the fencing contract uh, they came down to 19500 uh, for the labor. And then I've got the T-post and the fence order. That should be here in the next couple weeks. And I'll be all set and ready for the survey guy to get the survey lines done. He said possibly last week, September. Get that accomplished. As soon as that's done, I've got to buy a culvert. I already got the pricing on that from the culvert I bought for above the pond where I tore the road across so I'll have to get a culvert uh, get that put in on the other side of my property where it touches 16 and rent a bulldozer and bulldoze a road and then get the fencing spread out where it needs to go once I know where the property lines are fencing company will be here as soon as the survey is done and hopefully 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 get all the fencing complete before winter uh, for my housing, I left a me message on Friday because they told me second week of July at the latest and now we're well over a month past that. So I told them if I didn't hear from them today, I'm going to hire another company and they're going to take whatever loss they have invested by driving out here, drilling the holes and everything else. If I got started all over, you know, I've got to get the stuff done. Otherwise... I can't get a house so I gotta have the engineering plans and these people don't seem to want to get it done so for anybody in Colorado I would highly recommend not using Jessic uh, they're out of Pueblo and uh, it, it's really sad they drilled the holes in May and we're coming to the end of August and they don't have the decency to get the stuff done when they told me they would have it done so highly highly not recommend Jessic so with that, I'm out of here. I got to get the video edited. Now I got to get the dogs chained up, get everybody topped off on feed, and uh, head up to Denver to the big city. Used to be a city slicker, and I, I'm like, I really don't want to go to Denver, but the only reason I'm doing it is because of her son. He asked me several times, and his name's Seth, and he just really wants me there with him, so going to a concert so have a great day i'll talk to you guys later all right so here are the stairs that i purchased you can see they're rusted and everything like that you can see that can of primer i'm starting to coat the stairs with primer and i'm going to do the whole thing i'm going to do it all red except the spindles the spindles are going to be yellow so i can have a contrast but this way i can put up a gate at the end of the stairs uh, tie Cleopatra to the camel walk up the stairs be able to get on her and hopefully get her used to rides so then the kids have something to do when they come to the petting zoo so that's my goal and I'll be working okay here's a little bit of stuff that I did I went ahead I got the fence pulled over because it all started falling out with the heavy wind of course I'm going to be putting up forms and pouring concrete then I can lift the fence back up and this is the first start I went ahead I got all the spindles done everything got primed or not everything uh, but the railing did you can still see that's not prime but it's all yellow it's all coated several times so it's really nice i've got a couple more cans of yellow paint i'm going to hit it a couple more times just to make sure there's a nice thick coat and it's a oil based type paint so uh oil based enamel type so it's really uh thick which is good and then like i said i cleaned out this whole parking lot area moved the trailers over to the end then i went ahead i moved these boulders and got the boulders from going up the road to across here. I put a straw mat down, which I need to get staples. I'll staple that. But I went ahead and the 20 feet from the property line, I got all these different orange stakes and I'm making a line up so then I can go ahead and start putting mulch in like I did uh, this year on the first half of the driveway. 
and then I'll run the orange sticks all the way down. So at nighttime, it's nice because it's a line of lit up sticks because the tops are fluorescent. And then, like I said, I, I can spread the mulch out and that shows the size of the driveway and uh, it gives more space. And uh, that way nobody drives around or through uh, the other part of the person's property and they stay on my designated driveway. So it's another beautiful, beautiful day. I got all this done and I'm getting ready to head down to Canyon to hang out with my new witch. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good All right, so a little update. We're still walking good. We're down Wall Mountain. Right there is 16. So we've almost covered uh, 0.6 miles of Wall Mountain. Or I would say about 0.5 because I got like a tenth of a mile left. Maybe a, a 20th of a mile left. But she's doing good. Uh, she's wanted to stop a couple times. Um to eat some of the tall grasses so I went ahead and let her browse a little bit uh, but you can see I'm barely holding on and uh, she's doing really good so I'm really proud and uh, this is another advantage of having intergalactic interspecies communication as an alien because of this right here I have a camel for three days that hasn't been trained to do this and boom don't even really gotta say anything she just listens same with uh stubs and everybody else so what can i say it's an amazing life amazing journey here on the homestead